the Samsung S95B has Sony fanboys absolutely furious. Recently, Samsung cut their prices. And this inflated market where everything is going up and we can barely figure out how we're going to afford gas and food, but we still want luxury. Samsung comes through with the best TV the world has ever seen with the Samsung S95B, putting it on the market for $16.99 now, ahead of the Labor Day sale to come later in September. They did it now in August. And, and we're sitting here watching Sony hold a really aggressive $3,000 price tag for just a 55-inch, of course, a price-gouged price, considering that 30% of the materials are recycled plastic, and also considering that they're entirely tone-deaf when we talk about HDMI 2.1. They refuse to listen. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me go through a little history with you guys. In 2017, the Sony A1E launched, and people even then were not satisfied with the fact that it didn't have full bandwidth HDMI ports. And now they still have all these HDMI port issues where it's always port three and four that you've got to use. It's so stupid. If Sony doesn't understand that we want, regardless of what generation is, whether it's HDMI 2.0 or 2.1 or whatever comes down the road, you need all four ports to support that full bandwidth of the current HDMI software or technologies. And, and that's where Sony's biggest weakness is. They remain tone deaf on that. Then you talk about new features, they're entirely tone deaf. There's no game bar. They want to talk about a road to zero, but they refuse to have a rechargeable remote like what Samsung has, right? It's got to be better than throwing all those batteries in the trash. It's got to be worse for the environment than putting ink on the box, right? But Sony will have you believe by stripping ink off the box and using 30% recycled plastic that that's better for the environment and therefore it is worth more money and you're paying $3,000 all while receiving zero new features, because let's be real, there are no new features this year. Everything that's on the A95K can be found on the A90J. Outside of the quantum dot panel, which really that's not a feature, that's just a panel type, that's basically it. The, the live color feature, they, they talk about triluminous max and all that nonsense, don't be fooled. That is literally just live color and it looks no different than any of the other live colors that I've ever used. It will oversaturate your picture. It's not doing anything intelligent. There are no refinements to it. The same can be said about their contrast boosting technology. It is all the same. They don't do anything to add any new features upon what they've already given you. And they wanna slap these ridiculous price tags on but then comes Samsung, right? Look at this monster in front of you right now. This TV has kicked so much ass that I find it hard to believe that this TV is on the market for sale. And I'm so happy about it that I just really can't help but like feel pleased as a customer. But you know, I always find funny though when I make these kinds of videos doing comparisons, showing things like the hordes of fake reviews talking about Sony beat Samsung. You know, Samsung is maybe great if you only watch cartoons or animated films for children, but if you're a real adult, you're a real man, you buy a Sony. We've all heard that bullshit before, but the truth is it's the total Uno reverse opposite, and they never showed that off until I showed it, right? And then we've got videos popping up talking about, oh, the game mode's dim, the game mode's dim. Meanwhile, I'm showing you SDR dimming on Crunchyroll, right? So I don't even know how that's relevant, but okay. And, and it's all this like excuse making and deflection and no, Sony's still good. Sony's still excellent. I still think Sony's got a place. And, and all the while they're adding to Sony's tone deaf attitude. They're called useless and useful idiots at the same time, bro. Because Sony's garnering all these fake awards from all these reporters. As you see, Value Electronic Shootout. It's just totally just clean, clean slate. Sony wins every time, right? Best SDR Bright Room TV and got its ass slayed by the Samsung S95B. And, and for me, like, you combine that in with the weight, the damn thing is a 70 pound OLED. Who the hell wants a 70 pound OLED that's not like 80 inches, bro? That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Why does a 55 inch OLED need to be 70 fucking pounds? It is stupid. And, and it hasn't happened in the history of OLED history. Let me say that again. There has never been a single OLED on this earth as heavy as the A95K. There was no reason to make it that fucking heavy. But again, tone deaf. And, and, and all of their useless freaking fan base. And I'm going to say it like that because let's, let's screw everybody's feelings at this point. 
useless fan base members that look at Sony. Now, keyword here, listen to how I say this. Useless fan base members that literally look at Sony and say, what you are doing is exactly what every fan wants. This is what we need in the market. We need $3,000 55 inches, uh, 55 inch TVs. We need influencers paid off by you to push a false narrative about how great this TV is. We need you to give us no new features. We need you to keep ignoring us on HDMI 2.1, full bandwidth support on all four ports. We need you to ignore Chroma Sampling 444. Like all of the things we've been talking about with Sony for years, and they still are tone deaf. And, and when I show just how tone deaf they are, you you think that like people would be like, oh man, my dude, like, thanks. I appreciate it. You saved me money, right? And that does happen, of course. Majority, it happens. I'd say about 70% get it. And then that lingering percentile comes back onto my channel. Not the 70, but the lingering crew. You know the ones. Always sour, even when you show them something positive that can help them. Ah, it's because Quantum showed me he's just negative. Fuck that guy. And it's, I just don't get it. It's like, bro, like, don't watch then. I mean, like, and, and you know what I love? I love that all of these Sony fanboys that are so angry about how amazing the S95B is performing, both from price to sales to consumer engagement and receiving of the product, like, everybody's happy with it, right? Their their response has always been like, oh, this TV is garbage or whatever, and it's like, the A95K is better. And, and I immediately sit here and I go, and let me ask you all the question watching this video right now. If the Sony A95K was really that much better, why every time I tell somebody how terrible the Sony A95K is, the, the A95K owners come out in mass? Because they're still actively looking up videos about TV reviews. They're still actively searching up TV conversation. Why? Because they're not just doing what any normal consumer would do after they buy their purchase and watch it. No, they, they have a deep-seated buyer's remorse, and they have to damage control anybody who will remind them of it. And the thing is, instead of having that attitude, they should have the attitude where they turn to Sony and they'd be like, this is not what we thought it was going to be. You really made it sound like you were going to pull out all the stops, and you really just made an A90J with the quantum dot panel. That's really all you did. And I think until we start being honest about that, this tone deaf behavior from Sony is not going to go away. It's only going to get worse. And that's what this whole video is about. It's not so much to air out the useless idiots, because believe me, you'll find that in every stretch of the imagination that society exists. People will always jump up and down and champion something that they identify with, whether it's a sports team or a brand or whatever it is. People will always act that way. But what is so, like, unacceptable is when you know there's a scam happening and there's somebody warning somebody against a scam that can cost families thousands of dollars during a point in history where everything is inflated and it's a recession. Don't care if anybody doesn't like that word. It's true, okay? Numbers are down. Everybody's struggling. I mean, really, okay? How the hell are you seriously still defending the corporation that has literally turned to everyday families and said, we're raising prices on you? Like, I, I just, I don't understand, and I don't even want to at this point. So my message is this, no matter what you hear, no matter how far down in the search algorithm this gets buried, buy the Samsung S95B if you want to avoid all of the bullshit that you're kind of dealing with in this market, because there's a lot of it, and they're going to continue to do it if you let them. Thanks for watching, everyone, Brandon Honesty, and until the next video, I'll see you guys later.